Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on creating a website for your Carpentries workshop. This tutorial will focus on setting the correct variables for your workshop to ensure that the setup instructions are correct um, and only the software that learners need to install for your workshop appears in the setup instructions. Uh, the page that you should see on my screen is the workshop website template for all Carpentries technical workshops. So that includes data carpentry, software carpentry, and library carpentry workshops. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is create a copy of this workshop template uh, using the use this template button. That is going to import a copy of this repository into my personal GitHub account. I'm going to call this uh, 2020 0715, which is the date today, uh, demonstration. Uh, and this is going to be uh, just a demonstration repository that I'm going to delete later, so I'm not going to worry about the description. I'm going to make it public so that people can see the rendered web page, and I'm going to click Create Repository from Template. That should only take a few seconds. And once it has finished, you'll see that I now have in my personal GitHub account, Aaron Becker, I have a copy of all of the files that are part of the workshop template. I am now going to modify one of those files to show how to change the way that setup instructions appear for your learners. Uh, so first, before I do that, I'm actually going to show you where this page renders uh, so we can watch in real time as we make changes. Uh, the syntax for seeing the rendered page is your username.github.io backslash and then the name of the repository. And you can see um, right now rendered the default version of the workshop website. It defaults to a software carpentry um, template. You'll see where that variable is in just a moment uh, and that shows up in the software carpentry uh, icon up in the upper left and you'll also see it showing up in other parts of this workshop website as well. We are not going to for this tutorial, worry about um, setting the title uh, and description and location of the workshop, as well as the instructors and helpers list that will be part of another tutorial in the future. Uh, we are actually going to be focusing solely on, scroll down, solely on the setup instructions. So if you look here, um, you will see that the default setup instructions includes instructions for the bash shell, git, text editor, R, and Python. Uh, and this is both too much and possibly not enough, depending on which workshop you're running. Uh, nobody, I think, nobody teaches both R and Python in a single workshop. Um, there may be other software or data that a year learners need that's not included here. And so we are going to edit some of the variables in the template file to get the correct setup instructions um, so that your learners have everything they need before they come to the workshop. Uh, so I'm going back to my repository and I'm going to edit the config.yaml file. So I'm opening this up. To edit this, I'm going to click on the edit this file pencil icon. Uh, and right at the top of this file, starting here on line eight, uh, we'll see some instructions on setting the carpentry variable um, and the curriculum variable and the flavor variable. These are the three variables that will together determine what setup instructions show up on the rendered page. 
you'll see here that it defaults to software carpentry. So we'll leave that to software carpentry for right now. We are going to imagine that we are teaching a, a software carpentry um, R workshop with the R inflammation lesson. Uh, and we're going to leave it carpentry as software carpentry. For curriculum, we're going to delete this fix me and we are going to change it to software carpentry inflammation. Uh, and we are going to change the flavor to R because there is both an R and a Python version of that inflammation lesson. We're not going to change anything else uh, and we're going to commit these changes directly. So we're going to say um, set up um, instructions for software carpentry inflammation with R workshop. And we're going to commit that directly to the GH Pages branch. <laughs> and it should take only a moment for those instructions to render, those changes to render. We're going to go up here and we're going to refresh this page. And we will know when it has appropriately refreshed as soon as we see this warning uh, go away because it is warning us that we do not have a curriculum specified. There we go. So now if you scroll down to the setup, you'll see that we have instructions still for the bash shell, git, text editor, and r. We now no longer have the Python installation instruction. I'm going to go back to the config.yaml and edit it again to show you um, how we would change this so that it is again a software carpentry um, inflammation, but this time we're going to do it with Python. So I'm just changing the flavor variable. I'm going to change to software carpentry inflammation with Python workshop with those changes. And then I'm going to go back up here, refresh the page. There we go. And so here we have Python. And we continue to have the text editor get in the bash shell in our setup instructions. So that is an example of two software carpentry workshops I'm going to now show for data carpentry. I'm going to edit this file. Um, now I'm changing the carpentry from software carpentry to data carpentry. Uh, this will, in addition to changing uh, the setup, it will also change um, some other parts of the rendered page, including the icon that shows up in the top left corner. For the curriculum here, I'm going to do the data carpentry ecology workshop, which also has an R or a Python version um, flavor. And I'm going to select um, actually Python for this example. And again, I'm going to give it my commit the name and say change to data carpentry ecology with Python. Get those changes. And now we go up here because we should see when those changes propagate, we will have a data carpentry icon instead of the software carpentry hammer here. And there we have it. There's the data carpentry logo. And uh, we scroll down. We now have for the setup instructions. Uh, a link actually to visit the Data Carpentry Ecology Workshop with Python setup page. So we click there. We now have a complete overview of all the setup, including the data download um, and the software that is needed for this workshop. And that's going to be the case for all of the Data Carpentry workshops. It's going to link you directly to the Data Carpentry curriculum page.
One final <laughs> demonstration. I'm going to have it uh, do the library carpentry page, library carpentry workshop. So we're changing the carpentry's flavor to library carpentry. Um, the curriculum variable is not relevant, so I'm going to change that back to fix me. It would actually be ignored if it was set, and that is true also of flavor. So I'm going to change that to fix me. Um, and scroll down, change to library carpentry workshop, and commit that directly. And here, I'm going to again refresh the page. Uh, I should go back to my workshop website page, refresh, and momentarily we should see the library carpentry logo. And there we go. Um, so we have library carpentry and it updates other parts of the page as well that we're not going to focus on. Uh, and then you'll see the setup includes the bash shell, open or find and git, um, and specifically the library carpentry versions of those installation instructions. There you have it. That is it for this tutorial. Um, thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions about how to set up your workshop website, um, please contact team at carpentries.org, which I, I will link in the video.